TV and more specifically ladies and gentlemen welcome back to in vehicle design I'm back once again because today I am here to see my 912 I've had lots of comments saying TGE where the hell is your 912 so we're gonna go ahead and see my 912 and we're gonna discuss exactly where it's been why it's been and what is going on with it and when we can expect to see it back ship shape and what color it's going to be as well so we're gonna get into that we're gonna find Brian but first and foremost I just do want to give you a little tour around I've seen something that's making me smile boo is here Guard dog on duty. Hello, sweetheart. Very good. Very good news. Doing an excellent job of guarding. So we're going to go for a little wander around because there's some amazing bits here that I want to show you. First and foremost, there is a flat nose 930 turbo sat here. I believe this is for sale. It is a right-hand drive car. And this is a car I think they previously had before. I think that's just come back in for sale. A known car. Very, very cool. Very rare. And I do think 930 turbos in general are going to be fantastic news, but particularly flat noses or slant noses, sorry. This should be using the correct vernacular, but I do really, really love on the, on the flat noses, these side strokes akin to Testarossa and actually dimmer design kits. You remember those on the Peugeots back in the day, which I really, really wanted. Anyway, booze attention seeking, perfect. We've got a 911 GT in there as well, which I actually want to take for a spin. So I'm going to go and find Brian and ask him nicely if I can take that for a drive in a future video. Because that is something I would love to add to my garage. I'd love to buy one of these. And this is a relatively sensibly priced one. Well, as sensible as it gets for these, but I just think they are magic. I'd love one of these. So I'm going to go and harass Brian. I'm going to go find him. So this thing, currently on the move, is a GT2, but isn't a GT2. So the story goes, the original, uh, the original owner, original custodian of this car, I think he owned a Porsche dealership, but basically he got a 993 Turbo and then bought every single part of Porsche you could buy to convert this using Porsche workshops into a GT2. So this is GT2 ownership, for not GT2 money actually. It's still around 300 grand. And if I was back to my cocky days of buying everything in sight, as soon as I saw it, I would have had this because this is, this is bucket list 911 for me. There's actually a chap going out in it now um, for a test drive. Um, but for whatever reason, if he doesn't buy it or it comes back down the line, this may be a future TGE car. Because for me, as 911s go, Bar the 997 RS, this is about as good as it gets. It's absolutely unbelievable. Look at it. That is peak 911. I said a lot about the 997, but that is unreal. So yeah, I'd love one of these. Absolutely love one of these. I think the chap's gonna buy it. I mean, it'd be silly not to really. Because an original car that's got GT2 on the paperwork from the factory, well north of a million quid. But this, I believe, is around 300. Wowzers. Anyway, I got distracted. Let's head in then. Oh, ah. If you ever come here, don't hit your head on there. I've been coming here for years now and I hit my head on it religiously every single time. I should have learned by now, but I guess I'm an idiot. This is very nice. Ryan Drive. Fully, fully redone, as you can see. Brand new car, basically. Wow. On the wrist today then we have Amiga Speedmaster Michael Schumacher. Again, when people ask me, budget of around three grand, what do I recommend? I often say one of these is reduced size, so it's slightly smaller than your standard hand wound speedy, but it's automatic. The key thing with these is get a full set because the box is like a Formula One tire, but yeah, they did it in a yellow, blue and a red dial. But this is my pick for around three grand. Plexi crystal, nice wearable size. Perfect speedy, really. Lovely, lovely stuff. As always in here, we've got a rainbow of cars inbuilt. These have all been to the body shop, paint shop, 
and are in varying stages of build. This is a build that's actually been here a little while. I think I presume the customer's in absolutely no rush whatsoever. It's an RSR build, really, really nice. But I'm sure you've seen that before. This is very nice. Looks pretty much back to factory. Could be a 12, could be a 911. I actually don't know at this point. Usually I look at the dash there to work it out. Or the back grill, but we've got none of those. So I don't know, could be either. Very nice, five dial right hand drive car. Lovely stuff, does look good in black. Hmm, semi tempted actually to put my 12 in black, but I think Brian will actually kill me if I ask for that. We've got a race car and build down. We're gonna see more race cars when we go to the paint and body shop down the road. Unbelievable stuff wherever you look. So for those that aren't familiar with this place, and this is where things kind of get put together and the finishing gets done um, after the body shop. And around here, that's very nice, 964. Love that. That is mega, I love those arches. We'll see a manual. Kind of got electronics and whatnot down here. And also they build engines down here as well. So they're building supercharged engines for their CHR variant. I don't know which is which here. Don't know if even these even are. And then down here we've got, oh yes, there's a dog. Perfect. This one is so good. This is Isla, everyone. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. <laughs> Perfect. Is there anything better than a dog? I don't think there is. Um, so this is the interior workshop in here, but this is Isla, most importantly. Hi, oh, sweetheart. Connie's gonna bite my arm off when I get home. When well, she knows I've been scruffling another dog. Hello. <laughs> yes <laughs> very good very good 10 out of 10 good dog right i'm gonna have to go unfortunately i have to go she's three Ayla. she's very good news very good news <laughs> i should just do a dog channel to be honest this is making me way more happy than any cars anyway this is the interior room i'm gonna have to leave you now bye i love you see ya I think then it's time to go and see my 912 in the paint shop. Let's go. Uh, as if by magic, we are at the paint shop. Look at that. Amazing transition there. So you may well remember the fact that I came in here uh, some months ago to see my 912. We've got Brian here. Brian, we've, we've just seen you at the other venture. And, <laughs> and you're here. The magic of YouTube. Excellent. Fantastic. With your car, believe it or not. My car is here. It is. We've got a star in our midst anyway. I don't know if I mentioned this already in the video. We've got a star. A star of the Friday night walk around and also the Wednesday wonder. He's here. It's all new stuff. It and we have our old uh, leader of men back. Marek is back on the channel. You'll remember Marek when I was painting, well I say I was painting, when Marek was painting my targa. He's back. He had a, a hiatus and he's returned. There we go. He's back. We're going we're gonna to pester Marek in a second about the 912, but we're going to pester you first because you're sure, going to talk us through what on earth is going yeah, on in here. Well, we've got a lot going on. So yep. uh, this is a Cayman Block 2 for the Porsche Challenge this year. So this is for Andy Toon, past champion. He won in 2016. We've also got Paul Simpson, who won everything last year, so he has number one on his car. Nice. We've built him one of these as well. As you do. Um, we're building cars for other teams now. So this is for Ashgood Porsche. That's ah. going to be the last three boxster, hence why it's not in rink colours. Yep. Uh, then we have Valley, who is presently prepping, ready to put that in the paint booth. That's a 911 RSE location. Nice. And then your car is here. My car is here. We're going to get into that. We're not done with you, Marriott. We're going to hassle you in a second. But I want to talk about this. Yeah, Are we allowed well, to talk about that? That's pretty cool. You can talk about that. Perfect. So that is mine. So that is a rink CHR. Um, which is a run of five, we've now sold three. Nice. So we've got one going down to Miami, one to Australia. Perfect. So four litre, supercharged, composite brakes, electronic suspension. Nice. Very, very cool cars. Two and a half inch top on the roof, so all custom glass, no B pillars. Um, ridiculously cool car. So very, very nice. Bumpers from 60s rallies cars. So the lights aren't going to be spotlights, they're going to be turning lights. So, like oh, in an wow. old Range Rover, when you turn the light, it opens the road to the left or right. Wow. Could be quite cool. And then your car, which I understand you're really exciting and you've really pushed the boundaries and you're painting it green. I know, I was waiting for the trolling. <laughs> I was waiting for the trolling. We've had this conversation. What, okay, in an ideal world then, and I know you're, you're just as bored by this as, I, as, as yeah. Brian is. 
In an ideal world, what colour would you want me to I paint it? I would still do it green. Look okay. Oak green. Something gorgeous, something classy. The Irish green, it, it's a proper Porsche colour, I guess. Yeah. But it's your car, right? Yep. So the purist will say, do it Irish green. Yep. Right? We're, we cater for both here, <laughs> so purist and non. But. You're being very Irish diplomatic. Green, you can tell the camera's on you here. Yeah, Irish <laughs> green is fairly boring. Yeah. Um, oak green Suits is a me. stunning colour. So do it green, but do it oak green. But up to you. I do know, that I, the reason I'm not going oak green, I do have a lot of friends with oak green Porsches, and I couldn't face it, them going, oh, you coffee green. <laughs> and there's a few noises on Instagram that have done their brand new uh, 992s in oak green, oak and green. they're absolute noises. It is. Originally, it, was it originally a VW golf colour? It was. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. But I do like it. You're right. It yeah. would be nice. And it's obviously metallic, not, uh, not flat. Not flat. Uh, should we go and see? Because this car has been causing you some hell, but there's been some pleasant surprises as well. You've uh, drawn the short straw. Many thanks. I'll hassle you shortly. <laughs> right, so what we're doing, we've got a shell, most of it in the uh, uh, perfected in the epoxy primer. We still have to do some more repairs on. Yep. So as you can see, there's a little bit of welding spots and whatever we found. All this is going to get cleaned up. Yep. Uh, so we started from the back, working forward, and we would spend two days cleaning, two days cleaning uh, engine bay, and uh, we were very, very surprised because normally, in you know, these old cars and especially 911s, early 911s, all the uh, mounts are rotten. Yeah. And it looks pretty, pretty bad. But this one is surprisingly very nice, especially on this side. It's just, it looks amazing. So we were very, very surprised. It looks beautiful. So uh, we've got just a little bit more cleaning uh, along with the engine bay, sorry, um, the front and inside. Yep. So when it's all cleaned up, we get rid of all the rust, we epoxy prime it. Yep. Uh, then we're going to protect it, seam seal it, get it painted black underneath. And then probably middle of next week, maybe we can move on to the body and start doing filler work. Nice. So this is, it's a straight car now though. It is, yes. You know, it's a strong, solid shell. Nice. Cool. Yeah. There we go. And it wasn't when it came here. It, it wasn't. No, it, it was pretty bad. We'd had some yes. had some knocks over the past sixty odd years, or, or however long it's been alive. Yes. Quite a long time. Yeah, yeah. What I quite like though is this. This is original down here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. That plaque there, does that denote that it's Irish green? That's the factory colour. Is the factory colour yeah. on there? No factory colour. Normally, it's on the uh, on the pillar. Ah. Okay. But with the VIN number. It's cool it having that actually. I haven't actually seen that before. Things like that excite me because I'm incredibly dull. You're back. It's a chassis plate. It's not that exciting. It is for me, mate. I don't get out much. <laughs> this is about the highlight of my uh, highlight of my year so far. It does tell you what it is. So it does tell you there's a formula to chassis. So yep. model, year, coupe, targa, whatever. Yeah. And then the last four numbers are the serial numbers. Okay. So if you do know your Porsche, you look at your chassis number and you can tell what the car ought to be. Ah, and is this, is it the right car? Has it been chopped up? It is the right car, it's original. It's right can that's, you believe it? That's kind of why, and also, because the engine's been kind of redone and whatever, not to like an incredible standard, but it's been redone to an extent. I didn't bore it out at that point. I didn't tune it, I didn't, I didn't mess around with it. So given that I've done that, and given that it's all kind of relatively original, that's why I'm going Irish Green. Add that and the fact that I am incredibly dull. Well, that would be probably the primary reason for it. Yeah, but, but I was looking, when I was looking at one of these, I was looking around and the ones that had engine swaps and kind of uh, yeah. engine replacements and all that kind of jazz and that weren't in original colors to begin with, that would have been something we could have gone crazy on yeah, and no, something that I'm not averse I, to I doing in the future. I hate to tell you this, but sometimes the customer's right. I don't think that happens very often. <laughs> but I think you're, you're right, you know, do it Irish green, you've yeah. had the interior done, so it'll all fit as it should. So, not that your interior is exactly OEM. It's not, no. d class went wild. in Irish green, so yeah, I get where you're coming from. Ish. Uh, Potential resale with yeah, it would be beneficial as well. I guess so, yeah. This is a car that I kind of want, not, not die with, because that sounds a little bit... Uh, dramatic. It does sound a little bit dramatic. No, no intentions of actually dying in it. Um, however, yeah, it's, it's always good to know that your money's safe uh, should, it, should it all go belly up. Or... Paint this grey because originally the tanks were grey, yeah. so oh, nice. we remove it, we clean everything up, then we will uh, paint it nice, so as it should be originally as well. Amazing. Back to, uh, back to factory, I'm excited. So the next video will be potentially you, sir, with your spray gun out. Yes. Me nowhere near anything involving any skill uh, and watching you do your thing, so that'll be very exciting. So it should be a big transformation. By the next time you come up here, it will look like a car again. And it hasn't done that for the last six months. No, it hasn't. 
I'm jolly excited. Yeah, cool. Uh, and if anyone wants a race car, obviously you know where to come. If you want a CHR, you know where to come. And you guys are also doing some bits with Porsche High Wicker. We are sponsored by Porsche. Ah. So now we have uh, not just the Friday night walk around, but the Wednesday wander. But we might get you involved. The Wednesday Wick and Wander. Wednesday oh, Wick and Wanderers is a team. Yeah. Are they still a team? Yeah, exactly. No, nothing to do with the team. Perfect. Um, but yeah, we're, we're sponsored by them for our race team. So um, we can now look after customers' new car requirements. Yep. As well as their old car requirements. So it just awesome. kind of rounds off the circle for us, really. Yeah, you have an yeah. official Porsche Centre support, which is wow. really, really cool. Uh, and the paint shop's over there, by the way, for those that had no idea about this place. Uh, busy bee, look at that. Business never sleeps. He's off. He's had enough. I've had my time slot. <laughs> I actually forgot to end the video there, sorry about that. The 912 is going to be back on the channel in the next few weeks. I actually got a call after I left from Brian giving me some bad news that actually underneath the floor pans, which I actually supposedly had done by another 912 restoring place years and years ago, back early, early days when I first got it on. The They've actually put random metal panels underneath a load of mastic and hidden it. We've now got to do that as well. The joys of old cars, interesting, but that's gonna push things back potentially. So I'm waiting on a cost to find out how much that is gonna to cost to resolve. But anyway, we move and the 912 is gonna be back ship shape this summer one way or another. So stay tuned, ciao. Roll up, roll up.